from. And we're very thankful to have founding members, the first president of the Tucson Homebrew Club. Yay! We have the Rialto Creek Brew Club, which the Tucson Homebrew Home Brew Club spawned off of here with us. And we are very thankful for all of you guys to be here. Thank you for taking time out of your busy days and celebrating with beer? us. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> it does help. So. And we have a lot of people to thank, so hopefully I don't miss any. We are very thankful for Dragoon and everything that they do for us. We would not be the club we are without them. Yeah. Eric Cruz, yeah! They are the best thing that has happened to us. This is kind of like our home base. We go other places, but we've kind of grown up as they have, and we're very thankful. We're also thankful to the entire craft industry right now in Tucson. We have a package and we got stuff from almost everyone in town. The homebrew shops, the craft brewers, and that's the thing that makes the craft beer scene so great is everyone is willing to help out and pitch in. Even though we're at Dragoon, they don't care that we're giving away 1055 and Pueblo Vida, and it's just everyone wants to see everyone succeed, and we love that. And we are very thankful for the industry allowing us to be a small part of that. So, to everyone who's here from another brewery, thank you very much. All the Tucson Home Brew Shop. Yay! Also want to thank our current board, without which this would not be possible. The, uh, the sacrifices that they've made in time is very, very appreciated. Thank you yes. guys for everything. Thank you. Ken and Carl and Freddie and Steve, and we've had a lot of stuff going on. And Forrest. Children. To Forrest. To Forrest. Yeah. And the sacrifices their families have made because you know, we're kind of gone a lot too. So thank you. And finally, not finally, too, Easter Seals, who have helped us make this. Yes. If you haven't got your tickets, hurry up because they're raffling when we're done. No. Without them, this wouldn't be as professional looking as it is. They wrap packages. I don't know if you've seen beer guys wrap stuff. It's not pretty. So, they, they made it look beautiful, and we're very thankful for them and what they do in our community. And we're also very thankful to be a part of what they're doing and to be able to help them out. And finally, I'd like to thank everyone who showed up tonight. Yeah! All of this planning and everything we've done doesn't mean anything if no one comes in. <laughs> thank you guys for taking the time out of your day. Here, here. So for the real toast, I got Bill Tomke. He is the original president of the Tucson Homebrew Club. And the longest running president, I believe, to give our actual toast. Thank you, everybody. Here, here. Somebody spot him. <laughs> welcome, welcome, folks. Listen, I, I, I knew I had to say something here for a while, and all I could think about was the love of the beer. We're all here for the love of our beer, making it, sharing it enjoying it and ex surprising ourselves with what we just did with making this beer which is what it is uh, i can't thank forrest enough for his leadership of the club in these years recently uh for dragoon again i can't say it enough their help their support uh i knew eric when he just joined the club <laughs> so anyhow anyhow for the love of the beer for the love of sharing the beer and love of making good beer. I want to toast all the old brewers in Tucson. The newest Tucson brewer is my brother John. He just got here today. John. Yeah. He'll, be, he'll be stirring my pot. Very soon. So raise your glass. This is to the homebrew. This is to what we love to do and share. This is to the community we make together. Making good beer. I salute oh, yeah. every one of you. Drink up, drink deep, and enjoy. <laughs> Cheers! Salute!
Salud. Salud.